now making his way to the cage aggression octagon is Travis throwing hands Nelson five foot six 185 pounds fighting out of Burlington Iowa and skunk river grappling dojo he enters the octagon tonight with a win-loss record of two wins and two losses and he must have had a, a nickname change throwing hands he's got a shirt on that says Travis the machine Nelson so I just go by what they tell me. You He's know? got different looks. <laughs> He's just right. trying out different stuff. You know, no big He's deal. He's a hand-throwing machine. How about that? Hey, <laughs> I guess we're about to find out in a couple minutes here. <laughs> Another Skunk River guy. You know, I guess you could call that the hometown guy here. I'm excited to watch him fight. The last... The last fight we watched, old Tar Pit was the Skunk River guy. Now we got Travis Nelson as a Skunk River guy as well. Man, looks like I've messed that up. It is Travis Nelson is not throwing hands. That's Tommy Hands, which is throwing hands. So yeah, he's the machine. Read the wrong line. Please don't murder me. You got a lot of tattoos, so don't kill me. Oh, oh, so, so yeah, you were hands? right. Who's throwing hands? Tommy Hand, who's about to walk out. Oh, goodness. Yeah, leave the good old JD to mess things up. That's all right. I forgive you. <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> so now making his way to the octagon, it's Tommy throwing hands. Five foot six, 185 pounds. Fighting out of Burlington, Iowa, and Skunk River Grappling Dojo. I think I got that one right. I think. You know, I'm willing to put some money on that. Okay. Throwing hands, Tommy Hand, makes yeah. sense. I like makes that. Sense. I like that. But if they both throw hands, I'll be even more excited. Yeah, me too. Me too. You know, I always love a stand-up battle. Yeah, I know. I, and that's something that uh, even with last night's card, we saw a, a good bit of stand-up, but... We didn't have that one, well, no, we did. I was going to say we didn't have a real barn burner, but that last main event last night with, uh, with Scott, with Stock, and Wisely was uh, pretty much that. Uh, yeah, I was at work telling people about it this morning. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. So I'm hoping that we get a few fights tonight that live up to that, uh, that caliber. And certainly this can be one of them. What's going through his head right now? Oh man, you know it could be a it could be a bunch of different things. You know, you typically when I walk out to the cage, I feel really happy. You know, I, I got a smile on my face. Um, I just I drink all the energy in, man, and I get ready to fight. Um, you know, a lot of guys they get nervous, but I get comfortable. You know, that's that's where I finally find myself. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, and weighed in at 189 pounds. He's sponsored by community contractor Cedar Valley. Joining us from Cedar Falls, Iowa, Travis the Machine Nelson. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall, and weighed in at 178 pounds. He trains at the Skunk River Grappling Dojo and is sponsored by Luke's Barbershop, Neff Construction, Mr. Woodcuts, RPC Construction, Lost Boys Tattoo, G Hood Entertainment, and Fenton's Construction. Joining us from Burlington, Iowa, Tommy Throwin Hand. Travis Nelson in the red corner, Tommy Hand in the blue corner. Your referee for tonight's action is Ben Wilson. Jeremy J.D. Dorsey here on commentary along with Zach Micklewright. Let's watch some fights. Man, you can already tell that Tommy Hand is the big favorite here. Oh, yeah. Big crowd favorite. Oh, A couple man. good punches already. Definitely Travis needs nice to put his chin right. down before he gets caught. Oh, yeah, there goes. See, Chin High, he's got to be careful of that. He needs to tie up here. He's hurt. And 
just like that, you know. Could you contest that it's an early stoppage? Possibly. Yeah, but maybe a little bit. Man, maybe a little bit. Travis was facing the fence. He wasn't doing much, you know. When you get in a situation like that, you got to tie him up. You, you got to find a way for him to stop connecting with punches. And he and just then, he didn't do that. And then, too, at the end of the day, you know, as a, as a referee, you're in there for the fighter's safety. That's exactly. their main concern. So, um, yeah, he was he was struggling a little bit to, to, to keep his balance. So I could yeah. understand why uh, Ben Wilson stopped that fight. I mean, he was complaining at the end, but if you watch him, he can barely stand on his two legs. What? Look! Look! He looked at the replay right here. Whoa! You know he. Right. Yeah. He was hurting, yeah. man. I you know he was still that. in a little bit, but. I mean, you have to be able to intelligently defend yourself. Right. And intelligently is the biggest and most important part of that phrase right there. You know, and a lot of times, too, you have to, as a referee, you have to anticipate that next shot that's going to come. Because if he's wobbly like that and, uh, you know, Tommy Han is willing to, to, to lay those hands on him, there's no telling how much damage he could have done with that next shot, too. So Yeah, absolutely. And you know what? Some of these guys got to work on, on Monday, you know, right. and man, you got a concussion, you're dizzy, you're not working. You know, he's lucky. Yeah, live to fight another day. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Ben Wilson, has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds into round one, declaring your winner by TKO, Tommy Throwing Hands. All right, I'm here in the center of the cage with your winner, your hometown winner, Tommy Throwing Hands. Tommy, uh, you know, it's always tough planning for a, a fight on as short a notice as you did with Travis, man. Uh, but you came out, delivered in front of the home crowd. What's going on in your mind now? Oh, I'm pumped, man. I'm, I just want to thank all my fans that came out, my family, my girl for putting up with all the training that I've been doing, all the guys at Skunk River Grappling the Dojo, they're beasts. Gabe Limley, Kirsten Davenport, you know, I just, the list goes on, really, I just, I'm pumped. <laughs> I can tell, I can tell. So look, Cage Aggression debut came out very successful. A full night of fights last night. Have you had your eyes on anyone as far as uh, any potential matchups for the future, anything like that, Tommy? I'd like to take Ian Smith's belt at 170 pounds. I know it's not through this promotion, but he's a local badass, supposedly, that I'd like to bang with. And that, that name once again? Ian Smith. All right, I got that. Well, hey, is there anything else you want to add to what I said or anything I might have forgot before I let you get to the celebration? No, I think that's it, man. Well, we'll forget. I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but I just got so much going through my head right now. That's all right. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for your winner, Tommy Throwing Hands. 